What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to our channel. We are currently located in what is going to be our future home gym. Like yeah. We've talked about that on our channel on quite a bit in previous videos and we will be completely renovating this whole space to make it our home gym. And it's still being currently used as a home gym already. Yeah. Ever since we had the total installed. You know we're gonna so, judge it up. You guys know we're yeah. gonna redo things all the time, but. I'll knock some, down some walls, like you're only looking at one half of it. Everything behind the camera is a whole section that will be blowing up walls and turning into a gym. So we're really excited for that. That's probably our next project, I'd yeah. say. Um, and, but we're so excited to be partnering with Tonal on today's video because they are actually the first piece of equipment that we ever got in this house, fitness equipment. Um, and we're just excited to like tell you guys more about Tonal, how incredible the, the product is and why we love it. Yeah, and the reason we even bring up like the future renovation of this gym is because the fact that we have a Tonal in here, it really sets the tone for what we're going to be doing in here and yeah. we're gonna be able to build the room off of this piece of equipment and actually is the perfect space for it right here. Totally. Um, secondly, it makes a big impact in what we'll actually be purchasing in the future yes. of other workout equipment in this space because it really takes away a lot of the stuff that we actually need. Like we no longer need a squat rack, a bench rack, anything like that. We don't need free weights. This has everything we possibly need there. We want to jump in and kind of give you a better understanding of the total, what we have it for, what we use it for, and what we definitely recommend you having it for as well. Yeah, so essentially it's a digital weight machine that um, has, it comes with a bunch of equipment, a bench, mat, a few um, little accessories so you can really maximize the machine. Yeah, and there's a there's ton of accessories that you can like add into your order, whether it's like different attachments and stuff like that. It comes with the bench. Uh, we have a yoga mat, the bar, we have handles, we have the rope. Um, and one cool thing about the handles is these are smart handles. And so if you're ever in the middle of a workout or something like that, you can click on these buttons and it will release the weight or you can add it back, whatever. It pretty much creates like a super personalized experience that replaces like dumbbells, squat racks, every like a piece of equipment that you would need for weightlifting in the gym, um, you can do on this, which yep. is incredible. All the free weights. So think about like a gym membership. We've had gym memberships before where you go and you're, it's all the free weights and stuff yeah. like that. So it's like picking them up, work, working out with them and then trying to decide like, what you want to use later and putting it back down and re-racking it and getting new weights and it's, it's a hassle. Totally. It, it, it's, it is. It's like, it truly is. And like you're sharing weights with a bunch of other people and you know, it just becomes yeah. like kind of cumbersome. With this, you can change your weight just directly on the screen. It also has smart technology where while you're working out, depending on like your progress and performance during that workout, it will learn what you're doing. And if you're struggling to pull the bar down or pull it up, or depending on what type of movement you're doing, but dynamically adjust the weight based on your progress and what we recommend you doing based on that movement and that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's kind of like almost also like a personal trainer just because everything is digital rather than being at the gym by yourself or in a class. Um, where someone might not be keeping track of like how you're performing. Mm -hmm. This is like a smart machine essentially. Yeah. And you and said it's sort it. of like a personal trainer. I mean, it aspect. replaces it. It actually, it, it, there's, there's personal trainer and classes that you can have access to. So you can go in and choose a personal trainer, go to their specific workouts, or if you want to go to a specific style class or, you know, join in on a specific style class, if it's like upper body, legs, whatever that might be, yeah. you can choose that class and just join in and follow along where it kind of gives you instruction there as well. So not only are you skipping having to pay for a gym membership, you're also not having to hire a personal trainer. Exactly. Um, yeah, so it's pretty great. And they also have a ton of different classes. Like if you're not wanting to use the like machine one day, you can still use the program and interface through the membership and like take Pilates classes, yoga, things that you can just use their mat and other equipment for. Yeah, there's um, like hip workouts, there's cardio, yeah. yoga, like you said, like all kinds of stuff. And which... it's all in the comfort of your own home. So mm -hmm. you can basically like cross train up, you know, do multiple different categories, but all right here. And then you have the option for weights, cardio, it has everything. Yeah, it tracks your performances and sends out that data to the app. So you can keep track of your progress. It keeps track of all your workouts on the, on the machine, everything you've done in the past, how you've improved since you started over a course of time. So it's brilliant. I mean, yeah. it is, 
when, it, when they say like it's smart technology, it's freaking smart technology. Yeah. As I mentioned, you can go to like different classes. Are you able to see this on camera? You can choose different classes, you can choose different workouts, like different style workouts, whether it's strength, cardio, bar, dance cardio, meditation, warm-ups, Pilates, boxing, all kinds of stuff. And you can do live workouts as well, which is really cool. I think that's awesome. You can choose it based on muscle groups you wanna work on or focus on. You can choose different programs with different coaches once again. So um, one thing I like is maybe you might be doing some of these programs and you find a coach that you really like, you can go to the, the different coaches, click on that coach, mm. and see all the workouts by that specific coach. Cool. And as Julia mentioned earlier, you don't have to use the machine itself for the specific workout. You can choose like a Pilates ab series, click start workout, and it would begin the workout, give you instruction. Saludos, mi gente. I'm Coach Francis, and today we've got a quick Pilates Love her. core burner. Let's get it. And one nice thing is it shows you the length of the workout. So if you want to do like a 20 minute workout, a 12 minute workout, a 30 minute workout, etc. This one specifically is 20 so minutes. Start at the back of you your mouth. Here and it shows your, your feet progress. about hip width apart. Cool. And then it's nice if you want to do like a weight class and then you want to like do an ab burner after. You can just combine everything and it's all right here at your house in the privacy of your home um, and you can cross train across a lot of different categories, but it really has everything. So these arms are simple to use. You can raise them up and down, depending on like, what the workout you're specifically doing. You can lock them in. So maybe I was like adjusting it for the bar itself for like overhead pull downs. Maybe it's something more like triceps where I can bring them in and connect the tricep uh, attachment um, or the rope attachment. One last thing about the screen itself and the p potential classes, we mentioned some of the classes you can take or some of the things you can go after based on your goals or progress and all that kind of stuff. You can also just simply do a custom workout. It shows you all of the different types of workouts you can be doing on here with the machine itself. Yeah. And instead of following a class, I can just say, hey, I want to do like neutral grip deadlift. I can choose my number of reps. Let's say I want to do 10. Start movement and choose my weight and then it would adjust digitally and the resistance of the arms will actually adjust based on those weights. So cool and it shows you like the muscles that you're working like highlights them. I feel like this is so good for like a beginner but they also go advanced like it could hit everyone all genders ages, like everything. You can really customize everything. I'll actually demonstrate on here and show you how the machine actually works for like this specific style workout. So it shows you where the arm placement would be. I will go ahead and lower that. Out together I could lower the weight and let's say and then I can go. I like to see what muscles I'm using too. I feel like it's helpful. <sighs> 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 okay, You'll start to see us do like more and more workouts on this um, on Instagram, on YouTube. Especially during winter like when it's raining and it's cold and sometimes you just don't want to leave the house. If you, if you have a baby, yes. So in terms of ordering your tonal, when you place your order, it usually takes like two or three weeks to be delivered and they deliver in all 50 states within the US and they set up the install for you. So when we order this, we schedule it with an install team. They come in, they set it all up, help you understand the machine. They kind of give you some instruction. You don't have to lift a finger other than tell them where you want it. And as far as pricing goes, they do offer like monthly financing. Mm -hmm. So you can get it as low as $58 a month, $63 a month, or um, $149 if you want to make the payments faster. All 0% APR, which is amazing. Yeah, and that's actually cheaper than most gym memberships. Yeah, it's kind of like an equivalent or cheaper for a and, personal trainer. And Way for cheaper. Us, since there's two of us, instead of paying for a personal trainer for yeah. Your, both. both of us each, we have access to the tunnel where we have access to all of the trainers yeah. for more than just one individual. So you, if you're a household of more than one person, 
it's definitely worth the cost. Yeah, and you just, after you get the machine, you just have to buy the membership in addition, but it's for the whole family. So not everyone doesn't need a certain profile. It's just one membership. You can access everything that we showed you guys. Yeah, some people might ask, do you have to have the membership in order to have the tonal? You do not. The membership includes the dynamic weight mode, the classes, but if you don't have the membership, you still have access to do the custom workouts like we showed you earlier. So yes. it depends on what you're looking for. Yeah. Um, we love it and we would highly recommend 10 out of 10. It is so worth it, especially if you are really into fitness at home. I think you'll love it and it's definitely worth the investment. Anyways, wanted to say thank you again to Tonal for sponsoring today's video. We love the Tonal. We definitely recommend it. And... We can't wait to like really dive in deeper to using the machine and making it like an everyday thing. Totally. So, um, so if you guys want to check out the information we'll have in the description box down below, keep your eye on it and let's get into the rest of the video. Salutos Warrior, I'm Coach Francis and welcome to Pilates Lower Body Burner. As the name suggests, this burner is going to hit every part of your lower body evenly and efficiently. So get ready to light up your legs, inner thighs, and your glutes. Time to get uncomfortable and step into your confidence. Let's get right into it. Whatever side you're on, for me it's my left side. You give me a curtsy and a stand. You lower, you lift. Woo! Yes. Now, I don't know about you, but I am already feeling this in my legs. Especially if you've been doing hardcore leg days on tonal, right? Your strength training days. You might just feel this a little quicker. Tune into that. Use that as fuel. That's how you get stronger. She's moving. I like it. Use the breaths. Use the breath to just bring almost an ease to the movement. Yeah, this is hard. That was excellent. Okay, I'll come back. I'm gonna come back to that. Yes. Ooh, that's good. I like that. I was like, I was like, just doing the warm up, and I was like, ow, I can't do it. I can just start doing Pilates here. Right. And then you can mix in other stuff. Hell yeah. yeah. Hi, Sky. Baby Sky. Baby Sky. I finally got to meet her. She's a doll. Aren't oh, you? Oh, so how sweet. nice is that? Oh my so gosh. Lovely. Are you shy? Can you give a kiss? Give her a kiss. Mm. Give a big kiss. Can you give a big kiss? Oh, <laughs> it's good. We got Jess this here. Guy is Jess's baby, as you guys, you know who Jess is. She has a YouTube channel. Aww. And you got She's here out. visiting for the day. Yeah, we're just hanging. You we say visiting, she lives not too far. I know. But yeah. If you if you wanna stare at this cute baby more, you can go to her channel and then she's on there all day. Hi Sky. <laughs> Don't run her with her. He's such a I know, here you dig her. So I got it. Oh, that's a good arm workout. Damn. Holding the baby. Here oh we gosh. go. Oh. oh She's so that? cute. Oh yeah, she likes you. This guy. He's so sweet. <laughs> I know. He's <laughs> cute. Um, we just ordered some food. We got Sorry, Copper and Branch. Um, it's like a little vegan place that we've recently discovered. And it's really good. So we're gonna have a little family lunch. And oh, Jess is just hanging out for the day. Oh yeah, did you? No. Okay, you did? Oh, we have those. We have those. Yes. Yes, we have extras. Because a lot of people forgot to grab them when they were here. Well, we didn't I, didn't even see, I didn't even know. I yeah, know. I like I saw afterwards and I was like, oh my god. So I know. Cute. Yeah, so we'll get, we can make sure you send those home. I wish we had one for you. I don't know if they make baby stuff. We could try. Okay, let's have a little lunch. All right, it's Saturday. Saturday, happy Saturday. Not only is our life in shambles, our house is in shambles. What's new? Um, everything's in shambles. I'm our really- Our routine is in shambles. We are getting back on track. Getting back on track. Today. I'm really working on stabilizing the camera, you guys. I'm really bad at it. When all the footage is like this, it's because it's It's me. when she's holding the camera, it's- it's, it's like really a hard earthquake. though. It's like she's like experiencing an earthquake. You try it though. It's really hard. Well, I try it all the time. And it's okay. Not that. It's probably about to be really shaky. I know. Hunter's a little bit better at it, but I'm really putting an effort to hold it still, and it doesn't think work. You no, know, I don't think you're paying attention when you're doing it. I am. Like I'm doing it right now, and it's probably super wobbly. 
We just got back from Whole Foods. We, and we have a stabilizer. I know some people would recommend getting a gimbal or stabilizer. We have them. They're just, they're kind of difficult. You can, but it's, just, it's, it's different. You gonna give me a bag? Here, I'll take one. Ooh, that's a heavy one. Anywho, we're unloading the Grosh. The plants are looking gorge. Look at our hydrangeas. Are you dead? Because I am. And we're gonna get the day going. We have so much to do. I love this weather. Me too. I love this weather only for like a quick snippet. I don't like it like all day every day. I, I kind of like it like we're definitely in fall and winter and it's like rainy and it's I know, dark and I kind of like it. I like to be able to walk it. our dog without him getting super muddy. Uh, him yeah, run. but that's part of it. Dog ownership is hard when Dog it's ownership wet. is the hardest in the winter. Like letting them outside, even they use the bathroom, they come back in and it's like wiping their paws, which is not that big of a deal, but it just gets cumbersome after It's like an, every just day. add another layer onto the, you know, taking care of your dog. You have to like rinse them off, rinse off all the mud, the whole thing. So I guess I'm different than like when you have a baby and you change their diaper, you have to like do it. Clean that up. So exactly. when your dog goes out to the bathroom, you clean that up too. We have left our birthday cake that I'm putting over here. Our house is in shambles from all the events we've had recently. Julia's party. Yeah, it's a uh, Cater Bowley being here and like uh, turning our house into a studio basically. We have not cooked a meal here in over two weeks. Yes. And it's depressing. It's depressing. Actually. So we bought, we turned to Whole Foods. The Whole Foods in Green Hills we isn't that great, so we went to the the Whole Foods in the Gulch A plus. in downtown, and it was much better. We and starched up. That's the new, the new, new. The new spot. We starched up on stuff. Yeah. Didn't we? Okay. I want to take these out of the things. We never have we never have beer at our house, and it's such a thing. It's like when we have guests here, it's good to just have like Stuff. some cold beer for them to like enjoy you if they beer, want a beer. You need wine. You need snacks. We got plenty of wine. We need. got plenty of champagne from your party. Um, but We're beer is something we like because we don't drink a ton of beer. My friend Courtney is coming into town this week to visit, so we'll vlog when she's here. But um, it's very exciting. I also feel like we'll vlog um, like tomorrow's Halloween. So we're having some people over for Halloween. Y'all know we do, or maybe you don't know this, but we do Frito Chili Pie every Halloween. We've done it for like, like five years straight. Yeah. And it's so super fun. It's so fall. It's so fall and it's so fun. So we're gonna have a few people over for that. So we'll show you how making the chili, the Frito Chili Pie recipe. And um, yeah, it's just gonna be a great weekend. It's Saturday, we're like just doing a bunch of stuff around the house today, which we have not feel like had like a home vlog in a while. Yeah. So this cleaning up, be, getting things yeah. in order. Getting our um, life together. Yeah, just a big clean out day. So, so let's these go. are the vlogs. These are like the OG vlogs. These are the OG vlogs. We just grocery shopped. We hung out at home and that's what we're doing. Cleaned up. Now. So. So let's nice have a day to ourselves, I think. Should we move just to one get of these caught up on things. Move one of these shelves up. So well, what is that space? situation right here? I don't know. Who did that? I don't know. Let's fix it. I mean, what can you put in here? Like oh. sideways drinks? Literally like, nothing. That? So can we move so, it? Oh, that's a good show for eggs, I guess. Could you move it? Yeggs. Do we have any tall yeah, items? Yeah, but you can barely see in there. Do we have any tall items? Oh, maybe did the caterers do that? Oh, the chef? Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. That's it. There she is. You said okay. the caterer do that or the caterer? The caterer. <laughs> okay, we've got lettuce. Hold on. I'm kind of, uh, now that the shelves are empty, let me like, wipe some of them down real quick. I feel like a dirty fridge is disgusting. Excuse me. And ours isn't even that dirty, but it literally irritates me. We've gone back and forth on doing our uh, Halloween costumes, but I mean, I it's a missed it. opportunity. It's a fun missed opportunity. I'm not big on costumes. Hunter's a Halloween in hater. I, I kind of am. You're a Halloween hater. I like Halloween for like being here and like letting people trick or treat and all that kind of stuff. What is in here? Oh, your soup. Ew. Yeah, it's good. It's squeaking. Oh, well, it looks yummy. Um, no, but I'm making Hunter get a costume. I got my costume. I was prepared. I have been prepared for like over a month. I'm and sorry. It's okay. I forgive you, but you, you get to pull through. You gotta do it for a book book. By the way, y'all, book or best 
freaking pita chips ever. Oh my god, they're so good. You can them by themselves with hummus, any kind of dip, nice for cheese plates, fire. Yeah. It'd be great with Greek salads. Oh, Greek salad, yeah. Okay. We're doing a cheese board tomorrow. Eggs. Right, I got it's a good snack. It's a good nibble. It hurts my stomach, the sugar. I want shit. Why do you eat chickpeas? Oh my god, these are so good. Because they're snacks. I'm gonna eat a soup. Oh my god. Oh no, that's why I got it. Let's eat it. This is the most chaotic grocery haul ever. Okay, okay. Oh my god. The pita chips are so good. I got the pumpkin curry soup. Let's see. Mmm. Fantabulous. Mm hmm When Cater was here and he liked something, he'd be like, it's fantabulous. So now how did I say that? Mmm. That was the cutest thing ever. Hunter. I'm gonna try the soup. Pumpkin curry from Whole Foods. Mm. Yum. Okay. I also got a new natural deodorant that I'm gonna try because I don't love any of the ones that we have. And this one's lavender. I've been obsessed with lavender lately. It's like super calming and like relaxing. So I feel like I will be excited to put on deodorant if I like the scent of it more. You know what I mean? And the lady at Whole Body said this was the most effective natural deodorant. So we'll try it. I'll report back. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yum. Oh. We also got James Killer Bread. Haven't had that in a hot minute. And I was like, you know what? I don't care about being so healthy. We're just gonna buy the shit that we like. Obviously, we're trying to be healthy. And we're just gonna eat everything at home because what happens is we don't buy food. Because we're like, oh, we're healthy. And then we have no food to eat at home and then we order everything on Uber Eats or DoorDash. But that's not a vibe. And we have to change that. So that's what we're doing. Mm. Look at these. Pumpkin pie ice cream sandwiches. I thought for Halloween. Be so good. The With the pita chips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, right? What kind of soup? It's um pumpkin curry. Mm, Pretty mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Curry's good. I saw this. It's croissant toast by La Boulangerie mm -hmm. in San Francisco, which is a bakery. I just get a couple like little croissants and stuff that. But this is a loaf of croissant toast. So it's toast and it's more of like croissant uh, style bread. Yeah, I can't stop eating this stuff. I made fun of you for getting soup, but it's pretty fire. Karma. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. We also got some espresso beans for the espresso machine. I normally get Alfred's. I ordered online, but I'm out. And I just didn't want to have nothing when Courtney's here because I want to have coffee for guests. It's like the first thing you wake up, you want coffee. Um, so this is sunflower espresso from a local Nashville company. So, oh, I thought this looked incredible. Look at this. It's a whipped soap and scrub golden chai with turmeric and honey. It's like a natural body soap. That's also scrub and just smell like you're gonna die. It smells like fall. Mm. In the shower, like What's are you this? kidding me? That is natural deodorant that I got. I also, so I got two natural deodorants. This one she said was the most effective, but then I was like really liking this one. It looked like men's and it said 24 hours. So I got that. And then I also got the Dr. Hashka um, lip balm if you've never tried this oh my god it's like such a treat it's 15 dollars for a lip balm but it is and it's natural it's amazing i used it ever since high school and then i thought these little lavender bath balms looked really nice i'm really when when winter hits and fall i get really into like 
body care and like hydration um i like taking like hot baths with lavender so i'm just like moving towards that vibe i want like all the self-care so i got some stuff from the whole foods department the whole body you know what i mean Woo! okay i'm talking a lot i gotta shut up okay let me go here let's turn into a little grocery haul Tealer it. Getting on top to top. Top two. stops. Okay. Got these little um, jars from Costco, and I put my espresso beans in here. So I think the bags are. I don't really like the bags hanging around. I just don't like the way that it looks. And they don't make espresso beans in bulk, so I can't. They make coffee beans in the bowl section, right, but, but I can't find espresso at our Whole Foods. But it's hard to find espresso beans specifically for an espresso machine. I don't know why, but it is. Do they want you to even get in here? I know, right? It's like they don't want you to get the beans out. Oh. It's like bear proof. I know. Okay, here we go. Pour it in. Bones. Okay. Okay, we're gonna tidy this up. We'll be back. Hey, Bob, Bob. How was your little morning nap? Do you like it? That's good. Your eyes are like weapons. Your lips could teach lessons. Don't use them so reckless. Cause for you, I'm all right, now I have all of my leftover flowers for my birthday. And what I'm gonna try and do, some of them are kind of dwindling, um, and there's just so many. I'm gonna try and consolidate them into one arrangement, kind of put them on the coffee table or in the entryway, and just make one really pretty one. So let's see how this goes. This face. This is the best case scenario. Hope it's what you want, not just what you do. You're starting up a wildfire in my head. Hope it's what you meant, not just what you do. Alright, so I've managed to salvage some of the flowers. And this is what we got left, but I'm holding on for dear life. It's not very many, but that's okay. Um, I'm now utilizing another birthday gift. This was from First Aid Beauty. Their team sent over this big candy pack and I'm gonna put it in this ghost, excuse you, down, down, for Halloween tomorrow um, for our friends to nibble on because I will never eat all of that, so. Here we go. That looks adorable. I'm dead, that is so cute. I'm gonna put saran wrap over it so it stays fresh till tomorrow, but it's adorable. I'm gonna try one of these. I am about to make a little snackaroo. So I thought I'd show you guys what I'm making. I'm gonna do a bagel with cream cheese, tomatoes, cucumbers, and smoked salmon on top. Start with my everything bagels from Whole Foods Bakery. I don't like to get the Thomas bagels because they taste like sweet or they have some like stuff in them. I don't know, it weirds me out. I don't like it. Okay, now I am gonna scoop a little bit of the bread out because I like to make like a little boat for all my toppings. Excuse you, down. And I get really full if it's like all the dough is in there. I mostly want it to be like a cracker. Like, does that make sense? So, what I'm doing. Hollowing it out a little bit. Okay, I'm totally messing up with bagel. It needs to go in the toaster. Hey, freak. You don't get any of those. All right, so we're slicing some tomatoes. It's done. Do you want a cucumba, book book? Do you like cucumbas? Let's see. Cucumba. Do you like it? Not so much? Okay, let's try one more. She loves it. Is it delicious and fresh? <laughs> and gorgeous and healthy for your body? It keeps you hydrated, buddy. It keeps you hydrated? Are you a vegetarian? Oh my gosh! You love cucumbers! You love Debbie, you'd be happy. You might even 
healthy dog. Okay. All right, we've got the bagel, nice and toasted. I'd even go darker, but you know, I'm gonna be chill about it. Now we've got organic cream cheese. I mean, what a day to have a bagel. Saturday, bagels are such a treat. I feel like they're not very good for you, but we don't care. We're just eating what we want because life's too short. Okay, do a little salt and pep. Tomatoes, cucumbas. For a little protein, we're gonna put a little salmon on top. Oh, this is getting good. Gorgeous. We're gonna do a little bit of basil on top. And then I'm gonna do a drizzle of olive oil. Ah! Are, you, are you eating both of those? Yeah. You are? You have some? Oh, shit. You're a bagel hater, though, so I didn't. I love bagels. Make it for you because I need to I, I don't love making bagels. Why? I don't know. It's not something I think about making, actually. Do I don't know if I, I don't know if I mind making them, but. Sprinkle. I mean, come on. Are we at a cafe? We might be at a cafe, Booker. Your mom might be a chef. I'm not sure. Ooh. We aren't sure. She could be the next Giada. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's test it. We have savories. Oh, yeah. I'm missing something. Avocado? Mm -hmm. Chip. Do I even have chips? Shit. A lace potato chip would be next level with this. Are we doing a shirzies over here? I think we are. Mm -hmm. A little dessert, mm -hmm. little croissant toast with PB and J. That's such a dad, dad treat. I feel like this is our vlog, our vlogging spot for snack hour, and we do snacks and chats. <laughs> Are you on that one? Well, I thought you were gonna have. I just wanted a couple bites. Okay. You said you didn't want to share. Yeah, I did. No, you were acting like you didn't want to share. No, I was going to make one half, and then I was like, I'll probably want some, so I'll just do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, this is way better than, uh, what do you want to call it? Way better than, like, what, anywhere else you go. We've decided we prefer our own food at home. We just think we can make it better. I think a lot of people feel that way. Well, we make it with love. Mm-hmm. Because it's our own. You make it just the way you want it. And it should be fun. And the places we've been that I think we really enjoy, like Lucas, mm -hmm. I think they make their stuff with love. They do. And so it tastes better. I agree. Like, they really treasure each dish like it's mm -hmm. has to be the best one ever. Should I cut this in half? Should yeah. Do we dare? Cut. Should we dare trying it? Can we try it? You think this is good? We should try it. Super. Yeah. So you gotta go downward with it. That's what I said. That's the smartness in me. I'm dumbass. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Mmm. Mm -hmm. I got this napkin by myself. Replay it. Oh, I just got that. You can even rewind it, bitch. Alright. I'm not gonna make you I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna make you like one. Because I'll freak your mind after. Okay. I want you to rewind it now so we can see who did it. I'll see you. Okay. Either way, I'm gonna rewind it. And show me grabbing a napkin and show you picking yours up. You have no humility. Maybe I have plenty. I can, I can Not stick. even things like that. Yes, I do. I just don't regardless. Like, I might be wrong. <laughs> no, you didn't. Booker, I'm sure the salmon smells delicious. But this is for humans. 
We need Lay's potato chips to take this to the next level. Mm. Unfortunately. But it's pretty good. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I didn't take a picture. No. I wish I could see this little freak right now. <laughs> Booker. He's just mm -hmm. watching. Yeah. This is a learning curve for us because this dog is a beggar. And Goose didn't even care about food. Goose would kind of do this. At least he's sitting mm -hmm. chill. He's not like mm -hmm. jumping all over us. That's this is kind of Goose would do this. True. We've never given him human food. Never one time. Mm -mm. Except cucumbers. Mmm. Um, except cucumbers. Like healthy stuff. We're not giving him like crap. We don't give him food while we're eating though. Is what we mean. Yeah. We, like, we want him to know that when we eat it's not his time. Mm-hmm. That's important. Because we made that mistake with Goose. So mm -hmm. every time we sit down with dinner. He walk over. Mm-hmm. Should we try this? <laughs> yeah, I think so. But it also croissant. Tell them what it is. I did. Know? I said it. A croissant toast with PB&J. I already said that. Oh. I gotta help them experience what we're about. Okay. What is being next level? Look at the bottom. You're telling that to Mr. Contest over here. I know. It's like she doesn't know me. Y'all know me better than she does. I provide context. And I get frustrated with her for not providing context in videos when I'm editing. I'm like, no one knows what you're doing. You're talking Am I changing? No. no. You're just being hypocritical. Oh, man. For real? Oh, yeah. Is it good? Yeah, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Shut up, come back! <laughs> it's like a croissant. Huh? It is. Mm. Oh, my God. That's a good toast. That would, this would be good to make cinnamon toast out of, like, you know, in the broiler. Mm. I'm sure, like, half of y'all, at least half of y'all had done that. Raise your hand if you've done that. Mm. Or just raise your hand. Boom. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's literally mm. just butter on toast with sugar and cinnamon in the broiler. That? Mm. That's some shit. This would be good with cinnamon toast, huh? Oh, gorgeous. It's flaky. It's like a page eating a pastry. Mm. Some buttery flaky biscuits. Well, hope you enjoyed that little snack hour. Snacks, snacks and chats. How did you notice this is our spot where we like always do a snack? And we talk to the camera while we snack. It's really fun. Oh, so good. I feel like it's always on like a Saturday too. That's my favorite. I love when people snack on camera and like talk. Because you feel like you're just sitting there talking with them. Some people oh, okay. are like, I like watching E. I'm like, it's not the point, bitch. You're missing it. I'm missing it, bitch. The real ones, they get it. I see you guys. You guys get it. You you are the ones that live for the car chats, for the snacks and chats, for the sprints. Like, you're there for it. You know what I mean? And that's what we do it. We do it for you. And the rest of them, and suck a D. <laughs> no. Okay, I gotta please go. They're so good, and like all the little ones are really good too. Like the little crunchies. They're so good. These are the best, I'm telling you. Mm. The best. Mm. And they don't really make you sick. You no? Know? I'm probably made with bad ingredients, so it's Guaranteed. I pretty much think we've tried almost every restaurant in Nashville. There's still quite a few we haven't tried. But I now have, I now feel like I know my basics of like places I like and like the rotation. Mm hmm. I mean, I'm ready to create our rotation of at home meals. I know. Well, what's fun about having like a fridge full of food is that you, you and I like, it's fun to make food. And then you come in here and it's like, what am I going to create? Let me make a really nice salad. And it's kind of like a challenge. We need some and it's, the, um, it's a good like, um, wow, this is decompression on your brain to like put together a little lunch for 20 30 minutes like you prep your little lunch hmm. I'm taking that what the marks on the fridge mm -hmm. like whatever happened there I don't know is it from well did you clean it oh it's like stuck was it from the chefs from the party hmm. I just organized that basket underneath the sink so just be careful you guys want to see 
This is chaotic. Booker, Booker, go, go, go away. These are granite wipes, but. Look, I just organized it. Bookie, no, 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 no. Give me the camera string, okay. All right, here, excuse you. I tried to tell you guys, this one's giving me a run for my money. Every day, he's just like this, the whole day, just, she just on me. Her. I'm working on it, babe. I said I'm working on it. I've been way more tough. You haven't even seen me on my walks with him. Like, I'm like tough on the walks. You don't care? Okay, so look, I've got my cute ass basket with all of my stuff organized and I cleaned it. Like I pulled out things that I didn't want, excuse you, and then I reorganized it. And it just looks so good. And then I have our little round one over here. Excuse us, they wanna see. I've got little, my um, Tide, or not my Tide, I'm sorry, my detergent pods here, some extra soap in the back. We've got sponges for our little pans. Um, I have an extra little scrapey, and then I keep trash bags down here too. And then I have this for sponges, but we're out of sponges right now, like traditional sponges. I usually keep them as backup in here because I like to switch them out every so often because they're kind of gross. Um, they hold a lot of bacteria. So. Let's see how that works. That's it. What? The granite wipes? You're such a dad lately. What happened to you? You went dad mode like so hard. What happened? When did that happen? Can we talk about it? We got a son. <laughs> we got a son. We got a son. <laughs> yeah, Hunter went straight up dad on me. Um, what's the Lion King dad's name? I'm gonna call Mufasa. you that. Mufasa, your mother Mufasa. That's what you are, bitch. <laughs> That's what we should have been for Halloween. I know. You should be. Sorry. He's so cute. That one better. Yeah, it's much better. better. It's better, better. It's better. We need the right um, solutions. Yeah. For, for stainless this steel. stainless. Totally. We need that one for this. We were like messing with the granite at the last house. What a pain. Oh my god, Hannah. No, house. that was. Hold on. That was marble, and it oh, was marble. That's what unfinished Don't. marble, hey, like literally to do that. raw marble. Oh my god, the anxiety. The marble or granite is just so difficult. Just get quartz. Get quartz. I'm telling you. If you're building you. a house now or in the future. But marble does look so okay, much better. Okay, but it does. Look, quartz looks great. I'm, I would actually down to do real marble in here because it takes like your house to the next level. Okay, we'll do real marble in here. Thick marble. But it's when we get a new island. Yeah. Yeah. And that, they, hey, Booker, you're not allowed up here, sir. <laughs> I will no, tell you that mommy, okay, will, mommy gonna, will let you go. Uh, I thought I was like, oh, it's cute. He wants to be in our frame. Do you want to make a video? Come no, here. No, 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 no. That's okay, bad fine. training. Fine, fine. Okay, so the island that we want, we want to get, well, okay, we'll tell you. So we want to get an island that is an antique island, right? Like from Italy or something. Yeah. Like we wood. think it will really wrap up our kitchen. So it we want, would. You know, like the color of Julia's. Um, piece in my sideboard office. piece in her office. We want something that color, or maybe a little darker, mm -hmm. but just very natural wood yeah. as the island base. Like, we can I want always, like old Italian. We could something. add marble to it, or I think marble. Well, or I'm saying butcher like, block. But butcher block. Butcher block, I don't think would go in here. It, well, it would. I want butcher block over there. Right. Just next to the stove where you can cut and stuff next yeah. to the stove. But I don't think butcher block on top of the wood. Because it's two different woods. I know. No, totally agree. So it needs to be marble. And I definitely think it should be as thick as this. Something we love about our house is how thick the countertops are. Look, at they're like, what, two inches? Two full inches thick? Two and a half inches. Two and a half inches. Yeah. Great thickness. Looks gorgeous. And a lot of people compliment it when they come over. So our, that's an easy way to make like, it look more lovely. I like the layout of our kitchen a lot. I do. But I do want... It's like a cozy kitchen. A booker. I'm kind of a little tired okay. of a white kitchen. I... I'm so tired of it. No, we're painting the cabinets. Are we painting the cabinets? And we're redoing the hardware. I, I kind of want, like low key, kind of want to do new cabinets. You do? I know like that's expensive. What? Like this will be later on down the road. This isn't anytime soon. I know, I think for but now. But I would love to do like the natural um, wood, I know. wood look. Oh, I'm I really know. liking that look in kitchens right now. I know, Hunter. And like mm. unstained I know. natural wood look in the cabinets. I know. It's very craftsman. Absolutely. It's like a craftsman kitchen. It's nice too to like be in your um, kitchen for a while and then redo it like a year or two later because you know it like the back of your hand mm -hmm. and you're like, I want, I can change this, this, this to be exactly. I what do I want. like the Zelig tile. I'm cool to keep that look. It's we boring. Can do better than I, that. It's boring, but it's a good base. If everything else in here is kind of different, it's a good natural base. It is, but we would redo it anyways. Mm -hmm. We get different tile. You know, one, one thing I do like about April Tomlin, and I haven't watched much of her or like seen much of the stuff she does, 
I do like how she does her ranges mm, with she the shelving inside. I know. Because the shelving inside love allows you that. to put like all of your spices, the, the oil, olive oil, and spice that you use for cooking a lot, like right there. That next is to you. a great move. I haven't watched enough of her to tell you other things that she does. That's just one thing that I feel like is her signature. At yeah. least I would think so. I don't know who else does that. I know. But I've seen that. I, I feel like I've seen it in like a few few different kitchens she's done. Totally. I think she's really good at keeping southern like style and like traditions but making them modern. That's definitely like her specialty. Um, so I feel like she has nailed that southern style that's like so cool and modern but feels old. Yes. Every designer I'm noticing has their cool. like talent. You yeah. know what I mean? Like they're really good at well, this or taste. that. Or like I think that's Amber is really good at textiles. Yeah, that's she's definitely her and specialty. That's how she started. I know. So that's it shows her through her work, you know? That scene tends to be what I'm drawn to, not because I like, actually have grown away from her style a little bit. It's not mm -hmm. like my end all be all anymore. I really used to love it. Um, but I'm expanding my horizons. I'm really into Jake Arnold. He's a little bit cooler. I like Jake Arnold It's more effortless and, and I really like, very um, gender neutral, I think. Clement's design. Oh, I know. Well, also. they're. I think Jake Arnold looks up to them. So like, Clement's design, see, I feel like they're like architects. They are. And designers, they're like, like combined. The ultimate. Um, they did Kendall Should I hang the light this weekend? The new light? Yes, that would be amazing. And the, and but I don't want to help with it at all. <laughs> okay, then it doesn't get hung. It's like so I literally classic. hate helping with light fixtures and furniture, like moving furniture. Like it's like literally makes me like angry. I hate it. It's so lame. I just being totally but, but honest when I, with you. When like, I have you help me oh, hang a light, I don't ask you to do any heavy lifting. It's like stand there and, yeah, I do. and hand me the drill when I need it. Well, like, you did these ones pretty good, but I feel, but then I kind of feel bad because I know I told you I will help you and I'm watching you struggle. <laughs> and I feel really bad. But you, but you also want it up. I want, I, I want it up too, but like, I know. that's like you I saying, just don't want to like sit there and hold it. <laughs> you never have to. <laughs> I've had to do that at the last house. Yeah, that was like, that was the first light I ever That had was. Seen. Torture! Do you guys remember that vlog? In my office. Oh my cool. god, I'm like, I will never do that again. That's an OG video. Like, that's a good one. <laughs> do you think you have the clips of that? Yeah. Or is it all? bonfire look at my office going okay. i'm so tired of my office being like on the back burner yeah i know i want to get it done i've been here for nine months and i want to get it up and done yeah i know it's like really dark. like i haven't even had a chance to sit down and plan out like the furniture and stuff for it all i, I have is the couch and by the way y'all we've showed the leather couch so many times on youtube oh yeah it's a leather couch we bought it at round top and it's been in my office for so long this, this couch sketch. right here this sketch and it's been in my office we were painting Painting's my it. office so we have it in here right now so many people so many are were like, like oh, you got a new couch you didn't keep, tell us keep the new couch i see it i know you haven't really? shown it yet you it's guys like, no it's the same couch yeah we show everything it's just hard to when you guys are watching every single move we're like oh yeah we just pulled that out you know from the painting but we didn't think way, we'd have to like Peter boy did this piece here, I'm gonna jump here, here. Oh my god. <sighs> cute. So yeah. Cannibal did this piece. How cute for shelf decor. And 
I was watching him do it. This is going to be one of the extra pieces that he listed for sale on his Instagram. And I was watching him do it. I'm like, I don't know why I feel attached to this one for some reason. And this happened to, to for multiple pieces of his art. But this is one of the ones that I was like, all right, we're going to buy this one from you too. So yeah. we snatched this one before we put it for sale. Um, and it's sweet. And it really goes with our style and aesthetic in here. So, I love it. I like how there's like some animals, but it's kind of hidden. <clears throat> it's almost like animals like within a forest with like some winds going by, some mountains. I don't know. I want to redo these shelves so bad. Like, like they like literally this. bother me so much. I know. We just, <laughs> I'm such a psychopath. Never. I have no yeah, time. When we go to the antique shop, we always come here and do like a little haul. I literally everything. dump everything. You guys, we don't even have time to style these. I We got these at the last antique shop. Remember this, and we just like throw them on there, and we're like, we'll just leave it for now, and we'll style it like and later. When we were painting my office. We brought a lot of like my office decor, like the ladder, all my records, the record yeah. player. We just this whole room has been a catch-all room. Our whole house has been a freaking. I know. Room we need so, some time. Yeah, we need an assist. We need a little assist to happen. Okay. What's the top? Um, the one. Oh yeah, there you go. Cute. Love, love, loves it. Good. Yeah. Gorgeous. Okay. Well. Oh my god, did you hurt yourself? No. Okay, we're gonna go finish up our Saturday. Okay, much later. We're going to the bonfire. Is and one? yeah, the neighbors. It's next door neighbors. They're having a few people over in the neighborhood. And we're just gonna go chill for a little bit. Probably. Right, we're home from the bonfire. And it was cute. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna get ready for bed. Hello, good afternoon. It's Halloween, Sunday. We are running around getting the house ready for friends coming over tonight. We're working on our Halloween costume, Booker's Halloween costume, actually. And we don't wanna cut that though. Mm. Okay. So we're making a token for his Scooby-Doo collar. Oh, we're being Velma and Shaggy from Scooby-Doo and Booker's being Scooby. Well, he could be Shaggy, tech, or uh, he's, Scrappy. He's Scooby. He's Scooby. Are we gonna paint dots on his back? We forgot about that. That's a little extreme. I think this is pretty good. It's perfect, Connor. And then do a, well, we'll do a hole once we find. I think you do the hole on this edge because that looks great, babe. Okay, so I have this little, I think the big size, don't you? I think it'll be more fun. And it'll show up better. More cartoony. More cartoony. Okay, so I think we do that. So I think we poke a hole in it. All right, we got this collar from the pet store this morning. Great collar. And now. You need to touch it to like the back, like the front. Like make that as bad. Oh, I see, see, I see. You know what I mean? Hey, just always take uh, over. I'm, you can't just let me like try things. How am I taking over? I'm the one over here cutting it. I know, but it's just <laughs> like I'm trying something and just let me try it. Okay, don't make the holes too big. Do you realize like I said, hey, I'm gonna work on his thing when, when you're gone and then you're over here taking over saying, why are you always taking over? You're, you're accusing me of that. Okay, maybe we both did that. We're both wanting to do it. I just told you this is what I'm gonna be working on, and then I start working on it. I was trying to help, I'm sorry. I'm, no, no, maybe I am being controlled. I'm glad you're helping. Okay. I, I want your help, and I'm glad we're helping together, but then you come in and act like I'm taking over. Okay, maybe that was a projection, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I was just trying to help, I got excited. I, I know, I'm, I'm excited too, and I, I don't fault you for that. I'm not saying, hey, you're taking over. I know. But you're accusing me of that for some reason. I'm sorry. I'm drunk, I admit it. Okay, here. I like being creative together and with you. I know, it's I'll be back. I printed out these little things uh, about the right size of this. So I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'm gonna cut this out. Yellow tinted lenses in a pink gelato. I think this is gonna look so good. Do you need a smaller brush? Huh? You might need a smaller brush. Cute. Like more detail work for the inside letter. Falling out the window, hit me back tomorrow. Will always be the one tough fact to follow. Cause we aim it for the stars with a point and hollow. Songs, my jokes and cars. Nice, babe. Looks great.
Let's... I'm annoyed that I'm doing this. Like, <laughs> this because is so you. It's so me, and I'm like a perfectionist. Okay, right? walk away here. Uh, you want a blow dryer to dry it? Now let's do that. It's gonna be here. Put it over your bird drying. Something. Okay, I'm setting up a little blow dry station for that. I need to um, put it on something. I know we need Everybody's it on. Like... Here, here. Uh, it's so good, babe. Here, put it here. Okay, and then we need weights. Something on it that's not gonna blow it away. Pretty strong, so it's gonna need something. Nice to watch. Beautiful, nice. Do like a minute. Okay. Is that hot? Warm. I think that's perfect to like get it. You want it cold? Get cold. Cold. Okay. Right. What do y'all think? All right, I'm getting Scooby ready. <laughs> this looks so good. You look gorgeous. I think you look amazing in your Scooby collar. And look at Shaggy, he looks so handsome. Okay, this is gonna be cute. Yeah, like at an angle, or like open it. Oh, great, of course. Um, yeah, like in the car, kinda. Like you sit in it, I can stand. I think that'd be cute. All right, of course, right? We're gonna take a picture. All the neighbors are coming out of their house. I'm like, wait, they're not coming down, are they? I don't have any candy. Don't come here. I have no candy. No, 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 I don't have any. All right, you guys, we just successfully took our photo, but we'll just show you our costumes really quickly. Thelma. I'm Shags. And Booker <laughs> Scooby. Come here, Booker. But Come here, buddy. he's so tired, you guys, he's not cooperating for photos. He's so tired. He's like literally, we took him out of the house today and it was like really good stimulation. So he's Scooby. really tired. Here's Scooby with his little charm. Mwah. Anyways, we just got our photo. I did the jankiest clip in bangs. Can you sit? And I actually cut my own hair. <laughs> which is so a she me thing. She accidentally cut her hair. Which is such a me thing to sit. do. So now I'm gonna have bangs. So cool. Look at my magnifying glass. <laughs> What's your character? Scooby Dooby Doo. Good job, okay. Scoops. Okay, we're gonna change. And then our friends are coming over for chili, Frito pie. We need to finish setting up. But that was a success. Whew, that was a little stressful. We're having our Frito chili pie. Yeah. It's and so we're serving it up. Wow. Oh, and we're laughing. Shame on me, my friend. And my friend Carly. <laughs> because we tell them why you have to wear these. Um, well, I mean, everything smells and tastes like perfume. So this is the only way that food tastes good. <laughs> so while she eats her Frito chili pie, she has to put that up her nose. Jack's like, I'm not married to her. I'm so sorry. I'm so sick of this. You're walking the wrong side of your face. <laughs> I'm so sick of this. <laughs> Why do I have? Because we don't want to miss Yeah, yeah we. Oh, there's one over there. Oh, it's over there. Oh, let me get that. Yeah. Playing code dance. Yeah. So, like, it's going well. It's been great. It's hard when you don't know people. Doctor? Like, exactly. Oh, you touched Doctor? Really? <laughs> 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 I have a great clue. I have a great if it clue. was, I, it could have been. Keep your <laughs> it's, my turn. Turn. it's your turn. It's blow. Oh. <laughs> oh, horn. Blow. 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 What about the blow hole? Okay, wait, let's go. Because I feel like horn. Who else blow? What was your clue? Or it's blow hole. Blow hole. Yeah. But I feel like horn makes a little more. Okay, Gigi, you put too many in our house. Okay, okay. What about so angels was? Blow jobs. Yes, yes. Blow jobs. 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 Bl
I think fish. We all think fish. Well, I think, well, so that's the thing. Blowholes. She would, she would have seen fish and been like, no, they're gonna put fish. Mm. Blowfish. Blowfish. She knows her audience. <laughs> yeah. She knows the fish. <laughs> Go ahead, Carly. Do it, Carly. <laughs> I've been wrong every time no, I've been no, 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 no. Oh. She does it. <laughs> no! No! Hey, I still want to give my final clue. Sucks. Can I still give my final clue? I thought you did, Carly, when you were going in. <laughs> you were like, like this, and you were like, <laughs> All right, we're closing up shop. And the party was such a success. It was so cute and fun and just cozy and mellow. Guys, like, I don't know what's happening here. It's okay. It'll be okay. Hunter. Just don't cry about it, please. It I might. It happened. I yeah. might cry, so just be ready when it happens, okay? It ha no, but I'm saying it happened, and there's nothing we can do about it now, and you're going to make it work. I know. I know. It's beautiful. Mm. I'll probably cry tomorrow. Like, I feel like there was too much adrenaline tonight that I couldn't even think about it. Do you like the apple stuff? The apple stuff was fire. I mean, the cheese board. It kind of got picked around. Cheese but. boards just are never, Hunter and I are realizing, they're never like the ticket. It depends. If, it, if there's like a big party it and it's like everyone's hungry and the food's not ready yet, it's Then key. they'll eat it. Like Thanksgiving Day, it's key because everyone's kind of, on I Thanksgiving, know. everyone's sitting around waiting for the food and it, totally. it's getting prepared. But cheese plates are almost like a meal in themselves. Like so it's like a cheese night. That's so good. Eat it by itself with just a, a cracker. I did. Okay. I ate so much. I'm like so full. Right here. It's like freaking fire. It's so good. No, because you can taste the mustard. It makes it like horseradishy almost. That's what he said. It's so good. Mm. So love that. Mm. It's called crab apple mustardo. Do you have a jar of it? Crab apple. It's next level it's next level it's like it's it basically like a jam but there's real apples in it and like mustard seeds maybe but it gives like a horseradish taste so mm. good so good Ugh. so good mm. Mm. you think it's better with like a piece of cheese or like a nut it's best with the cheese i don't want to hear it what i don't want to hear it you're yeah. gonna hear it so just prepare yourself let me cut my wings with I you. I was growing these I'll wings do it. out. I'll do it. do it with you. No, I'm not making you do that. Hi, baby. Do you love my wings? Do you like my wings? You like them, right? I know you'll love me forever, so that doesn't matter what my wings look like. This is so good. I'm so, so satisfied. Good. Yeah, it's really good. Do you have some Scooby Snacks? We just solved so many mysteries. We solved so many mysteries together. That's why we are. We are the Scooby Doo team. Thank you for watching, and we love you guys. And goodbye. As always, and we'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> so costly, it's killing me softly. Don't know what to call it. This thing that you started. You make it look easy. The way that you lead me into the fire, babe. Are you coming with?